all right boys what is going on welcome back to the channel and oh man does it feel good to be back right now i know i didn't really announce it over here on youtube but i did intentionally take such a long break if you guys want to hear about when i'm going to be taking breaks which i hopefully won't be taking any more super long breaks like this but if i do take any more long breaks like this more than likely i won't be announcing it here on youtube anymore so if i do end up taking a super long break like this again or something happens and I can't upload for whatever reason more than likely I'm going to announce it on my discord and then I'll probably tweet something out about it so if you haven't already followed the discord the link should be in the description and I definitely recommend that you do that as well as yes I am officially back on Twitter finally I'm going to throw that up on the screen for those of you guys who followed me on Twitter before I got banned you already know it gets lit over there on Twitter so definitely follow me on Twitter I haven't really been there much since I made it I made it like four or five maybe six days ago so definitely go and follow me there on Twitter let's get those followers back up so let's talk about why I've been gone so long what happened while I was gone so long and the possibility that I might unfortunately have to leave again so I'm sure you guys see it in the title but your boy went to jail yes jail actual jail, orange jumpsuits, handcuffs, the whole thing. Now, unfortunately, I can't talk about what happened and why I went to jail, and that is because the investigation is still technically ongoing right now. I haven't officially been charged with anything, which means I'm going to have to go to court and try to get these charges dropped, because believe me when I say these charges are fucking bullshit and I'ma beat this case. But because the investigation is still technically ongoing, that right there is the most I can say about why I was in jail. I really can't tell you guys about what happened until the investigation is done and I go to court and beat the case, and then I can tell you guys everything. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Obviously, I've been gone for 13, 14 days now at this point, but no, I was not in jail for these entire 13, 14 days. What a originally happened was for the 4th of July I went over to the ocean with my family and when I got back I was supposed to leave the next day to go back to my old city that I just moved from and visit some family for my birthday because many of you guys probably don't know but I literally just turned 20 years old on July 6th so nine days ago I turned 20 I didn't really say anything about it I didn't announce it on YouTube discord nothing I'm not that big of a birthday guy but yeah I turned 20 years old on July 6th so for the 4th of July slash kind of my birthday we went to the ocean we got back from the ocean on July 5th and I left the next day July 6th to go back to the city that I was born in to see some family and stuff like that unfortunately I tried to get some videos done but I just wasn't able to and that's the reason that I've been gone for these entire 13 14 days it's just because I was out visiting family and celebrating turning 20 years old. Unfortunately, while I was out in my old city visiting family, that is when I got in trouble and got sent to jail. I only spent three days in jail, which when you're in there, three days is a lot, but thinking about it now, three days isn't that much. But let me tell you when I say that was a very eventful three days in jail. Many of you guys know that I did get in trouble when I was 17 so I have been locked up before but that was in juvenile and let me tell you when I say juvenile is nothing like county jail county jail is a whole new world compared to juvenile so even though I can't talk to you guys about my charges or why I'm being charged with what I'm being charged with until all this court stuff is done and I beat this case what I can tell you guys is how my experience experience in jail was and hopefully that'll help keep some of you guys watching this out of jail because believe me that shit fucking sucked man so i originally 
got arrested around 5 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and they kept me in that holding cell for 5 hours. They didn't book me into the jail until about 10 o'clock in the morning on that same Saturday. Now when they did originally book me, I had to go through the whole thing, you know, get naked, have them search you completely naked, bend over, cough, that shit is so awkward and when you're an adult, they stare directly at you. When you're a juvenile, they kind of like look at you and look away a little bit because they don't want to see some little boy penis, you know what I mean? But when you're an adult, man, they're just straight staring at your junk, staring at your asshole. You have no fucking privacy in that room, man. So if you don't want another grown man looking at your penis and if you don't want to see other grown men penis, I would recommend staying out of jail because let me tell you, I saw more penis in those three days in jail than I've ever seen in my entire life. So after they did all that, they originally put me in like this yellow jumpsuit and then brought me to this like smaller general population area where there was probably only like 10 of us inmates. And when I first got there, I thought that was all this was going to be. I was like, wow, this is a piece of cake. There's like 10 of us in here. I had my one bunk mate in my cell. It just felt like exactly what Juvie was, but it was grown adults this time. So when I first got there, I thought this was about to be super easy. But then I was probably only in that holding area for like 20, 25, maybe 30 minutes at the absolute most. After those 30 minutes were over, the guards came back into our pod and gave every single one of us, except for one guy, this brown bag. And inside this brown bag was our orange jumpsuit that we needed to change into, our blankets, our sheets, a bowl, a cup, your toothbrush, just a couple of things to obviously survive because what they were about to do was throw me into actual general population. And believe me when I say I was not prepared for where they were about to take me. So as soon as they gave us that bag, we had to change into our orange jumpsuit and go and wait on the table. Once we were all done, they split up our like 10 man group and sent those two separate groups into two separate pods. So they just walked walked us down the hall, told us what our bunk was, what pod we were in, and literally just sent us in there. And when I first walked in there, let me tell you, they just started hollering. And I'm pretty sure they were all hollering because of me. Because I'm just this 5'10", 150 pound white boy that isn't meant for jail. Like, I'll be honest, I've been locked up before, but I'm not really meant for jail. I'm a pretty good looking dude, especially when it comes to jail so believe me when I walked in there they just started hollering because I stood out like a sore thumb and I heard all sorts of things when they were hollering you know I got the boy blah 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 I just knew when I walked in there I was gonna have quite the time so I'm gonna show a little picture on the screen I had a really hard time finding a picture of the inside of the jail I was in but this is an actual picture of the actual jail I was inside when you first walk into the jail to your right is going to be your phones and then to your left is like your kiosk where you buy your commissary and stuff like that and in the middle is like a bunch of tables to sit at and then way at the end of your cell block is these open bunks so we weren't actually inside of cells it was just this big huge open room with bunk beds showers and then there was a downstairs and an upstairs all those tables in the middle with a tiny little TV damn near touching the roof of that place and that's basically where we were all staying 50 other dudes in this tiny little pod so when i first walked in there of course you instantly want to go over to your bunk and get settled in because you have no idea how long you're gonna be there so that's exactly what i did i went and i started looking for my bunk and this little like five seven five eight short dude with mutton chops bro literally 
looked like fucking Wolverine. Let me put a picture up on the screen. This is almost picture for picture what this fucking dude looked like. I wish I could make this shit up. He had the hair slicked back just like this with the mutton chop sideburns. I've never fucking seen someone like that in real life with my own eyes. This was the very first time. But as I was looking for my bunk, mutton chops came up next to me and said, my name is blah, blah, blah. I honestly don't remember his name. He told me his name and he showed me where my bunk was and then he told me that he was the guy that I'd go up to if I had any questions and then said word for word, they're looking at you, bro. And I already knew exactly what that meant. So really, my first day there wasn't too eventful. After I met Mutton Chops, I started making my bed and then I met the dude that I bunked with because obviously they're bunk beds in jail. You don't really have your own bed in jail. So I met the dude that was below me on the bunk because I did unfortunately have a top bunk, which sucks. And for the most part, he was pretty cool. I was the youngest one in there by a mile. I, no one was really that close to my age except for one other dude. So he was pretty cool. He was a druggie, but other than that, I mean, he was really a pretty cool dude and he helped me out a lot. When I first met him, I kind of thought he was an asshole but it was really just him setting boundaries but after I met him a good little bit he was a pretty cool dude and he gave me a lot of advice after I met him I met a few other people they kind of just came up to me while I was laying in bed and introduced themselves I didn't get out of bed too much that first day I honestly kind of just slept that first day off for the most part so nothing really happened that first day of me in there other than me meeting people and realizing how much I stand out in jail. There was one small thing that happened to me that night that I genuinely don't think I'll ever forget about. So that night after lights out, probably like five or 10 minutes after lights out, this one dude who actually introduced himself earlier that day, his name was Tyler. He was a white dude, a little bit shorter than me, but super, super buff. And he seemed really chill. Well, all of a sudden that night after lights out, this dude started busting out in song. I don't know what song it was. I had never heard the song before, but I have to say it was the most beautiful voice I have ever heard personally in real life. Of course, there's beautiful voices out there in music that have been signed to record deals, but that was the most beautiful voice I have ever heard with my own personal ears in real life, not over a song or anything like that. That shit was absolutely incredible, and I wish I could have recorded it. Obviously, I was in jail there was no way I could have recorded something like that but if I would have recorded that and let's say put it on TikTok or something I'm telling you guys right now that shit would have been viral that dude's voice was absolutely fucking incredible and I hope the best for him when he gets out for real I really hope he uses his voice to do something with it because he actually has an opportunity to do something with that that shit was absolutely insane man but other than that that first night there nothing happened i walked into the pod the pod was pretty wild but other than the dude busting out in song like that nothing really happened that first night there and with that being said that is actually where i'm going to have to end the video this video is already getting super long and i could keep talking for another seven minutes and make this a 20 minute video but i really think i would much rather just turn this into two parts i don't really want to make this one video 20 minutes long i kind of think that's too long so i'm going to end the video here i'm going to make a second part on this though don't worry i'll probably make it a week or so from now there is a ton a ton of content that i want to make now that i'm back you guys over in the discord have been killing the video suggestion area so i've got content for days that i want to make and i am absolutely ecstatic to get back and start making content again so so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna end this video now and turn this into two parts so with that being said i'm going to end the video if you guys enjoyed the video you already know the drill drop a like comment down in the comment section help your boy get pushed deeper into people's recommended i'm going to read my members and i'm going to get out of here so we got emmanuel quincy j charles ware and that archive guy i said it a million times but i'm gonna say it again you guys are the absolute greatest just thank you guys so much for supporting me like that and emmanuel i know we've talked multiple times about playing games together please hit me up on xbox or discord hit me up somewhere i'm pretty sure you're on my discord so message me on discord we're gonna get those games going
going pretty soon, man. I promise. With that being said, though, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.